please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So, I wanted to apologise for speaking positively. What am I talking about here? Well, if you look at a lot of the videos, that that's the sort of way that I come across. Um, I want to encourage you to do things, um, but it's not through a commercial interest, it's through life experience. So when you look at um, all of these recommendations, the way that I do the videos and so on, that's the driver. And I thought it was worth doing a video to explain how that driver came around. I mean, first of all, I've had a really brilliant experience on exchanges, so I'm bound to talk positively about those. Now, I realize it's not for everybody, not everybody's going to succeed, and I think it's impossible that anybody could replicate what I've done because I started earlier than most people um, and I've taken it to levels that are much higher, and I've worked so hard to do that, so hard. So, as a consequence, it's unlikely you will be able to get to that level. So, I'm, I'm not going to um, recommend or ask you to do things on that basis. Um, the reason for being positive is because I think that that is the right frame of mind that you should adopt. And when I look back at my childhood, there were lots of people telling me um, that I couldn't achieve things, that things are impossible, or, uh, you know, there was every excuse under the book that you can imagine. But I look back at that era now, and I, I think about it, and I just think, you bastards, you know, you were trying to control, manipulate, restrict, um, clip my wings, you were just, you know, you were doing it for your own personal reasons. You weren't doing it to see my progression. So my attitude now that I'm trying to transplant through my life and through my children. Incidentally, when I, when I talk to you on camera, that's what I imagine. I imagine my th the three children are in front of me and I'm giving them some advice. So you are my children. Um, hopefully not actually, that, that could be a big problem. <laughs> but that's the attitude that I'm, uh, that I'm talking about. I wouldn't say anything to you that I wouldn't recommend to my own children or, you, you know, uh, along those lines. But um, yeah, you know, when I look back at how I was told all these things weren't possible, and it, and it was a lie, it was basically a lie. But I, I, it was took me ages to, to overcome that, because um, when you look at uh, everything that's transpired since then, it's been a meandering path, but that's generally what happens. You, you're looking into the distance and you're looking at a goal, but the path that you take to get there will be all over the place. But the only way to do that is to keep on stepping forward. You have to keep thinking, right, okay, that didn't work, let's, let's move forward. So when I'm talking about trading, you know, I've been trading for 17 years. Um, I've faced skepticism all the way through those 17 years, especially at the start, and then loads in the middle, and, and I'm still getting it. And um, when I first got it, it was like a bit of a shock, because it's like, well, okay, nobody's ever done this before, fair enough. I am doing this, but you're st and I'm giving you information and encouraging this, when I could have actually kept it to myself, uh, and I'm getting grief for it. And you're thinking, well, that's, you know, what's going on there? But I've realized that that's just, the, the status quo, you know, the world is made up of different types of people, different viewpoints, and some of those people act like those people did in my childhood. They want to restrict, clip your wings, and control you. And the best way to do that is to try and shoot somebody down who's actually doing something that they either don't believe in, can't do themselves, or whatever. So, you know, I don't resonate or recognize those people. and. I went through a spell of trying to argue, but if you find it's impossible to argue with these people. And I even invited somebody here once, and you know, we had, had a falling out with somebody, and I said, look, why don't you just come to the office? You know, I've got wonderful equations, formulas, terabytes of spreadsheets. I've kept detailed records of everything that I've done. I've quantified so much in the market. I've looked at the psychology. I've melded that together with a general market model. Now, I've really worked so incredibly hard. Um, and it's all here, and it all beautifully documented. I went to Betfair recently, and I got them to give me um, loads of details about my account, and I got a 52-week account statement. 52 weeks, 52 weeks traded, 52 weeks of profit. And I'm not talking fibers and tenors. You know, it's there, it's in black and white, and it's documented all the way through my, my career. So I was astounded when I felt when people were trying to question that, because I was thinking, well, why would you do that? But of course, they don't have the information, and they're looking at it from a different viewpoint. So, um, yeah, I think when you come across people that are generally acting negatively to others, that's a huge red flag um, and should put you off because those are the people I recognise from early on in my childhood and at certain points in my career. And the fact is that 
you know, the attitude I should have had at those moments, which I didn't have because I didn't have the experience when I was younger, was to ignore it and move on because your goal is over there. You do things that move you towards that goal. If people try and stop you, you look at it and you say, is this going to get me closer to the goal or further away? And if it's going to get you further away, off it goes. So I realized that trading isn't for everybody and not everybody's going to make money. It's impossible for people to do what I've managed to achieve. But I'm sort of saying, well, you know, why not give it a go? Because you never know. You may be able to find a way forward. And even if you don't, you'll probably learn something. When I did short-term financial markets, I was terrible. But what actually happened was that taught me stuff that I used years later on Betfair. And in fact, I'm, you know, it's gone the other way now. And the financials have sorted themselves out through what I've learned here. So, you know, it's funny how things like that happen. It was part of the meandering path um, that... Uh, led to other things and I've seen loads of stories like this in Bet Angel as well customers I've met through Bet Angel um, that have done stuff who have gone on to new heights and it's because of the attitude and perseverance that they picked up when they that they learned through trading and it would give me immense pleasure if somebody watches this video and then emails me in five years time say hey Pity, you know what you were right and this is what's happened to me um, and I would get more pleasure out of that than anything else so yeah, when I'm talking positively and enthusiastically about trading, it's A, because it's been such a fantastic journey for me and plenty of others. I'm sort of saying, well, give it a go. But you have to be pragmatic and realize maybe it's not for you. But why not give it a go anyway? But my general message overall, as with all things, is give it a go. Um, when I quit my job, uh, the, the, the mentor that I went to, said to me, oh, you'll only ever regret the things that you didn't do. And by God, he was right. And I'm glad that I did do this. But also, you know, you base your decisions on, upon where you want to get to. So it's important to think positively. And when I talk to you, um, when I talk to my children, um, that's what I want to do. Is I want to give people that positive energy to say to them, you know, go out and do something. Um, give it a try. And what's the worst thing that can happen is you can fail. And then at least you gave it a try and you knew that it didn't work. But the worst thing you can do is to put it off endlessly. I was speaking to somebody the other day um, who's been thinking about trying to trade seriously for years and he just can't get round to doing it. And the opportunity will pass him by. Um, and he needs to get out of that mode and just do, do it. He just needs to start moving in that direction and stop over-qualifying things. Um, so yeah, you know, that's why I talk positively. I apologise if it comes across as uh, being too positive, but that's just me and I'm not going to change because over the years people have tried to stop and curtail that and they were always the people that lied. They, they lied to me, they lied to others, they're lying to themselves and it's not going to help them at all. And if they could just broaden their mind and look at things from a bigger perspective, maybe that guy would have come here, seen what I did and then that would have changed his life, but he never did. Um, and you know that that's his problem basically but yeah hopefully that's explained to you why I talk positively